God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. We're going to talk about being a good witness for the Lord by letting your light shine. But first, we have a song by the Prince George Wyndham Episcopal Vacation Bible School Choir, and they're singing This Little Light of Mine. This little light of holler in our younger days. In the summer at night we would sit out in the yard swing and at night up in the holler it would be pitch dark black so we would pull the string on the porch light and the 60 watt incandescent general electric light bulb would shine and it shined so bright that people coming around the curve down on the road below would see it. People would watch for it so they could find their way. And in the book of Ruth, people were watching her. The second chapter, beginning in the fifth verse, it says, Then said Boaz unto his servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Mobitus damsel that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. So Boaz watched Ruth and helped Ruth. You know, being a Christian, people watch us all the time. And it is good to let your light shine. Because when people watch the light in you, they are watching your witness. And your witness could lead them to the life with the Lord. Another reason why shining your light is crucial, we find in Romans 14, 13, the King James Version, let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. This means that a person who has just became a Christian might be watching you, and if you do something that is against the Lord's teaching, they could follow your lead. My grandma would say, don't do anything to cause your brother to stumble. So we need to stay focused on the light of the Lord and allow our light to shine so people can find their way. 
we sure have a lot to shine about with all the things he's done for us. If you want to shine for the Lord, just pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my sins. I believe Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead. Please help me shine my light for you. In Jesus' name, amen. You're saved if you believed what you prayed. Call a saved loved one and tell them the good news. And Also, your faith will get stronger if you read your Bible daily. You will find time after time his love for us, his care for us, and his promise to us. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, it's song time again, and we have the Consolers singing, Let Your Light Shine. everyday acts of worship. Everything we do is an act of worship that brings pleasure and delight. When it's done for God, it touches his heart and is our God-given purpose in life. For God created everything that exists for his glory and his pleasure. And we, his children, have so much worth, more valuable than pricely treasure. For worshiping God is truly a lifestyle affecting everything we do. It's not just in singing spiritual songs, but in our everyday happenings too. As we minister to those we see in need, offering to them our service and even the mundane everyday things to God, their acts of worship we need to be offering as a dedication every area of our lives as an act of spiritual worship to God and a most holy sacrifice. 
for God cares so much about every detail, no matter how great or small, for God will walk in our everyday life as we establish Him as Lord. So we let your light shine. Well, I can see on the clock on the wall that we're about out of time. Lenny and I thank you so much for listening. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. If you have a prayer request you'd like Lenny and I to pray about, send us a note through Facebook, just private message at J. Sadie Gray, G-R-A-Y, or on our website at jsadiegray.com. Just go to the contact page and leave us a message there. We also have a blog on our website, and we put a blog on about every month. We also have a YouTube channel with all our archived radio shows if you've missed any. Well, we're going to leave you now with Dr. Ralph Stanley singing, Let Your Light Shine Out. And have a blessed week. If you love the Lord and believe His holy word, let your let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from view, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from view, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. Be the same each passing day as you walk the narrow way. Let your let your light shine out. Do not work for him today, then tomorrow hide away. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from view, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. Disappoint, let's grieve where the broken hearted weep. Let your let your light shine out. Let your hallelujahs roll from the windows of your soul. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from you, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. From you, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Let your let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from you, for some lost soul is watching you. Let your let your light shine out. The 
same each passing day As you walk the narrow way Let your light shine out Do not work for him today Then tomorrow hide away Let your light shine out Let your light shine out Let your light shine out, let your light shine out. Do not keep it hid from On behalf of Lenny and myself, J. Sadie Gray, let's pray that soon the sun will reign. God bless you all in Jesus' name.